I never thought this day would come. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody, and welcome to our very first look at Tron Light Cycle Run. Super pumped to be here. These are cast previews. The grand opening isn't until April 4th, but I'm sure there'll be some annual pass previews as well. Super excited. We've been waiting nearly, what, five years to step inside Tron, and we are finally here today. We're gonna have a full look at the ride at POV. We're gonna have a full look at the queue and see what's inside this massive, amazing building for the first time. But um, I'm so excited, what do you guys say? Come along, and if you guys are new, please hit the subscribe button, thumbs the video up. We are headed inside the, the Magic Kingdom for a glorious first look at Tron Light Cycle Run. Not sure if you guys know, this ride was actually supposed to be open in uh, 2021. That obviously did not happen, so here we are five years later now for those of you who have not watched the movies please watch the movies tron legacy is one of my all-time favorite movies believe it or not it is it really is a little background on the ride is that we're team blue which is the users and we're gonna be going to race against the grid's most menacing programs team orange the upload conduit, which is the, the canopy outside, will serve as the digital bridge into the grid for our light cycles. The queue itself is supposed to make guests feel like they're being digitalized and entering into the grid for their light cycle race. Really interested to see how they're doing that. I haven't seen any video of anything inside. I've been spoiler free. Side note, the ride vehicles themselves, they're kind of like riding a motorcycle, but there are adaptive type seats for those who have a disability or who cannot fit in to those light cycle uh, rides. Wow, it is a zoo here today. So many people here. On days like this, you can totally feel the excitement in the air. Now, I do know um, we have to go to a specific booth to get the Tron passes for the cast members. I'm going to try to find that, but it's kind of surprising how many people buy tickets day of and not ahead of time or have to pick them up. There's so many people here today. The excitement is totally in the air. I found the specific check-in over here. Event check-in right over here. Just gotta wait for Nick to show on up in our group. And then we're gonna head on in. Our first of uh, many lines here today. Now it works basically, cast members sign up on specific days if they were lucky enough. And then you pick a time slot. Our time slot is 11. It's 10.20 right now at the moment. And I'm assuming we don't get bust over. We're probably gonna have to take the monorail or the ferry boat over to Tron, but holy cow, guys. I'm very excited. Oh, look at this. Looks like Disney wants cast members to do hashtag Disney cast life. And, uh, and how this works is one cast member, then you get three guests. Very generous of Disney to do that. I remember my days, that wasn't the case. They were kind of coming around to this, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I never come over in this section ever. They need to put like this parking lot sign more towards the front just because, I don't know. I feel like it's really weird that it's tucked in the corner. I agree, I agree but, uh, 100%. Here it is, here it is, JoJo's here too. I agree, I agree. Hello. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, weird it's in a corner. <laughs> the man of the hour. We're all filming each other. Hey, buddy. Hey, What's up, how's Nick? It going? How are you? What's up, guys? Are you ready to ride Tron? Yeah, yeah thanks dude. for having us. Of course. Yeah, thanks I'm for excited. the invite. Like, literally, thank you so much. Oh, I got yeah, you, we really, yeah, thank you for the invite. I, I, I don't think. Welcome back. Oh, yeah. This is actually the first Tron preview that you can bring guests to. Everyone gets plus three. So one cast member gets three guests outside of the parks. Uh, the last three days have been cast member exclusive with access in the tunnels at Magic Kingdom. Yeah. I'm gonna need him to repeat that. After about 15 minutes, we are getting our wristbands, baby. We got a wristband. We got them. Go. Team Tron. Let's go. Team Tron, baby. Team Blue. Hey. Tron wristband. Tron light cycle run. Let's do it. I guess we just head on over to Tron now. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
and we see what this is all about. Yeah, I guess the wristbands stop you from riding anything else in Magic. It's supposed to be go in, ride Tron, and get out. Do we have like a specific uh, entrance? We, uh, no. No? I think we just take the monorail and walk in. Maybe at Magic at the front, there'll be a spot for us. Okay, yeah. okay. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Dude, I'm so excited. This is in we go, baby, on this historic day. The excitement is getting real. I used to study to the soundtrack all the time back in college, the Tron Legacy one, and I think they are actually using that soundtrack inside as well. But it's a relatively packed day here at Magic Kingdom. A lot of people entering at around 11. Event entrance. Here we go, baby. Let's go. Wait, that's awesome. We didn't have to scan in. I think it's on the honor scale if you think about it. Because you could just rip this off and go in to the park, theoretically speaking. That was the easiest adventure entered Magic Kingdom. That's crazy. Can we do that every time? I wish. <laughs> just walk in. Real quick as we head down Main Street, comment down below if you guys are going to be here opening day, if you guys have a preview, comment down below. Oh my god, everyone is wearing Tron, Tron merch. Disney hasn't really sold Tron mo merch yet besides a lounge fly, so this is all like third party or like from, from the movies. So I've tried to get some, but I, I didn't really see much. Let's do something fun down in the comments right now. Where were you guys in 2018? Because that's basically when they started the construction on Tron. Where were you guys? I was on a DCP working at the Haunted Mansion, and I remember being so excited that this was coming in 2021. But here we are in 2023, still not really open. April 4th is the opening date, but go ahead and also comment that down below. It's gonna be like a fun little game. Nick, go you're the, the king. king. Yeah, where are we going? Oh, I'm the Where? king? Oh, thanks. Yeah, you're the king. Thanks. This is Kelsey, by the way, too. This is Kelsey. Hi, Hi Kelsey. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's roommate. Kelsey Kawaii. You guys, you guys <laughs> might know her from the mansion party, but oh, Kyle God. wasn't there. <sighs> okay, let's go. Magic is like, I'm, I'm not even overestimating this, guys. Look at this. It's the most packed I've seen it this year, for sure. Nick's even baffled. You know, here's a fun fact. The the time they began constructing Tron, we still had the old sign for Tomorrowland entrance. And I think we still had like the old, we definitely had the old concrete. It's insane on how long this has taken. I mean, Magic Kingdom was built faster. I heard they just had like a big issue after COVID. Not really knowing any details, but that's something I did here with a rumor on how like, I think it flooded or something. Don't quote me, just read some stuff online and I, I see that and I don't know if any of you guys know, comment that down below too. 50 minute wait for Buzz, look at the line. Sheesh, so busy today. Nick, I think it's busy because they knew you would be here. Yeah? Yeah. You think that's why? Uh-huh, that's exactly why. <laughs> well, here we go everybody, ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, we, oh my God, I see the sign of Tron. We are gonna go through for the very first time on this historic day, our first look at Tron. Holy cow. What a magical day this is. Here we go, ladies and gents. Going on through. Let's go, baby. You can see they're re-theming this side, currently not done, and this is a re-theming for Tron. I think eventually this is going to be a dump for, for merchandise, but we're going to keep this rolling because we haven't been able to come this way in ever, 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 ever. <laughs> it says game over. We don't want to see that yet, but it says this concludes your preview. Different soundtrack, different umbrellas and lights. Look at that curvature of the concrete here. Keep right. Everybody, if you could do me a favor, please go ahead and uh, thumbs up the video. There's the soundtrack. Holy cow. Holy cow. What's up, how's it going? Look at their cast uniforms. Stroller parking over here to the right. 
huge line to take a picture in front of the Tron light cycle, it's like a cycle run sign. After five years, we are finally here. So pumped, look at the sign here. I'm sure this is gonna be um, the lightning lane return. And I wonder if they have a single rider too. That would be pretty nice. First time, ladies and gents. Holy cow, excited is an understatement. Here's a look at the sign. I kind of want to go up there right now. Let's go up there. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, something is confirmed that I really wanted. Holy cow, wait, 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 wait. Holy cow, thank you, Disney. I had no idea they were doing this. I'm gonna wanna exit this way, but you can cut in between. That is amazing. Holy camoli sauce. Did not expect that. There used to be that, and I thought they were gonna get rid of that. Let's get a close look about this sign here. What do we think the presented by Enterprise? What a day. Let's go up the ramp. I'm kind of continuously recording. I'm not going to stop this. Speakers are actually inside these railings right there. You see that? Those are the speakers. Woo! We're about to enter the grid, ladies and gents. Let's go. I kind of want to sit here too to get the cycle running here. Let's take a look back here. That's us for the past five years. Wait, they come by really quick. Let's go, baby. Look at this. Oh, look at this. How amazing. So pumped. This soundtrack is woo! It's gonna look even cooler at night. I wonder what that is down there. You see that? Oh, that's the breezeway. Okay, and by the way, the railroad is actually underneath us right now. Just kidding, it's right there. Sorry, I lied. That's the railroad. Opening day, this is going to be a uh, virtual queue. Virtual queue only, and I'll oh, check this out. That's a barnstormer. Confirmed breezeway is back. Oh, wow, they're actually like working on Space Mountain right now. Here's the backside of their, their costumes. Very nice that we do have the restrooms. We thought these were gonna be lockers, but the lockers are actually indoors. I wanna see if they're themed. Should check that out. Here's the bubbler. Very nice. It's gonna be the exit. is the top speed. Here they come. Take a look at the concrete here. It's like sparkly blue. I wonder how it's gonna look at night. That's gonna be a game changer. Gotta get the pictures beforehand. The legend himself. Look at this. The train's coming through. The long wait is over. We have arrived. If you actually take a quick look at the canopy itself, 
it does look kind of like computer technology, like you are going into the grid, because this is what technically links us into the grid itself. We've got our first photo pass, which is right here. They have the disc. Oh, that's here? Oh, yeah, it's right here. We gotta do this one. Yeah, we got oh my goodness. Hello, can I see that real quick? There's the disc, ladies and gents. Wow. You can touch it. Take a photo with it. They also have a little net here to catch anything that flies off. Like my phone. Like JoJo's phone. Now, the time has come. After a few photo passes, I think there's actually a photo pass at the end as well. Here he comes. Here we go. What's up here? I've got no idea. Oh, they've got the actual Tron vehicle. Here we go, ladies and gents. Ah. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it pulls down. Yeah. Cool. Wait, Kyle, can you push that down one time? Yeah. So when you pull it down, you see it comes back. Yo. Nice. It's like a workout to pull it. <laughs> pull it down, Nick. It's cool. Now here's our entrance of Tron. Let's go, baby. Hello. Super pumped. I'm assuming this is gonna be the lightning lane. Standby over there, virtual queue. Hello. You excited? Yeah, absolutely. There she is. They still are actively working. You can see that right there, they have scrims up. Finishing touches going in right now. We're going in right now too. Wow, that's so weird. Quick look at them actually actively cleaning Space Mountain, or maybe repainting. Thank you, Nick. You got it, bro. Smells like fresh pit, uh, paint. Two touches, see that? Like one's over there as well. Can't wait to see this queue. Look at that. That's how we get in. In the movie, that's what uh, put Sam into Tron itself. There's two sides. You, know, you can either go right or left. We uh, went left. I don't know if the queue is different or not. So we're now in the, the lightning lane. I believe they're the same. You should be free from motion sickness or other conditions that could be aggravated by this. Please fill in all of the available space inside the scan room so the rest of the users can join you. We're going to the scan room. Yeah. Tron Flight Cycle Run is a thrilling, high-speed roller coaster type ride in the dark. Users be warned. The light cycle run makes sharp Whoa. turns right. with sudden drops and stops. Oh my gosh. Users, prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron. Oh my gosh. What? Team Blue, welcome. You see that? I did not expect that at all. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Whoa. That makes so sense. So that was the other side, and this is this side. I did not expect that. That is so cool. I'm blown away. That's so cool that you can see them blast off. Oh, I want to see this because now they're loading other people. Oh, here goes another one. Now that's cool. But now the other users are about to be digitized into Tron again. So I kind of want to see how this works from the back side since we just saw it work from the front side. Mind blown on that, did not expect to see that. 
You kind of want to be first coming into this room just because there's people standing in the front. Dude, I didn't expect that at all. No, that was dope. There you go. The digitizing. Lego, baby. Let's go. I'm assuming the lockers are coming up. Dude, they could totally do a remix of this ride. So we're like, we're orange, Team Orange, you know? This looks to be the locker lockup. Like the Dueling Dragons ride? They just added a, a whole nother like, track. And it's they orange could. team. Uh, it would take 10 years to build that track. Are <laughs> you? I'm a winner. In we go, section 100. Oh, here's the lockers. Do we just pick any locker? Okay, anything that's blue. These are the first lockers ever implemented at a Disney park with a specific attraction. You just go to one that lights up blue. Super easy on that part. Love that, and I think you scan a park ticket. There's a lot of them. Holy cow, it goes all the way down here. Yeah, there's over 700 lockers. It's quite a lot. Have fun, guys. Let's lock it up. Here we go. We've got the load area. It's gonna be on two sides. It is. It's beautiful. The neon blue looks so nice. Look at the load too, that's a cast member just sitting there. It's on both sides too by the way guys. Uh -huh. He's got 205 wins. Team Orange. Look at the detail and the, the barrier here. Look at that. Wow. That's literally the game. Here we go. There's a longer line for row one, by the way. Look at that. If you're on the left side, you cross the ride vehicle. Never see anything like that. That's so interesting. <laughs> yeah. That. Wow. Loading procedure. Walk across the track. Here's a look at the accessible ones in the back. See that? Hang on, Jojo. Hang on. Kyle, Oh my god. This is also how you store your belongings, right here. 
Then we walk across this track again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, a hard take here. I wasn't like blown away like I was with Guardians. Still really fun, but I thought there was, I mean, it's short obviously, but fun regardless. Just wasn't like wow like I was for Guardians. Amazing coaster though. I think we're gonna ride again. The exit queue. Curious how these lockers are gonna work. Pretty short. Pretty short, but it's a fun ride. I think it's gonna be impossible to forget our belongings. And it's on the other side, basically like Universal's at Velocicoaster. Except these are cooler. Oh, you can actually change different language too. I don't know what that's for, but. Ah, if you forget, it will tell you. I think we found our lockers. 220. Fun ride. It reminded me more of a uh, rock and roller coaster than Guardians for sure. A look at the exit queue. Just a black hall. Theming on the side. Oh, I got you. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Next thing is I can't wait to see this at night. But here's what they're still working on. I don't know. Hey, oh, it could be. Oh, where are my glasses? Oh, this has got to be the merch. Got to be the merch. You forget something, Nick? You can kind of see through the black mesh. This is the merch shop, so it exits out to the merch. Unfinished, though. They have until April. And out we go, ladies and gents. My final thoughts. I didn't get blown away like I did with Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought like the LCD screens were gonna pop a little bit more. I just wish there was more. Like I feel like I just want more with this attraction. Um, but regardless, it's it's fun. It's really fun, but I just feel like I'm grasping for more. Does that make sense? I don't know. If you guys could see the POV well, please comment down below your guys' opinions. And if you have been on it before, comment that below as well. Wait for the. And last but not least, I feel like I'm just overcritical because they had five years to build this, you know? Um, just my hot take. Yeah, that would've been perfect. It's so close. But with that, everybody, that is gonna be it for your guys' Daily Dose Tron. Unbelievable that we got to ride it today. Shout out to Nick. Nick, get over here. Shout out to you. Thanks for inviting me. Of course, brother. I'm glad you had a good time. Did have a good time. Happy with the group. I took his glasses on accident, thinking they were mine. And I took his watch. And he went back to like look, and I, I didn't realize they were in my pocket. I was panicked. But yeah, there it goes. Look at that. It's fun regardless. Is it worth like a bazillion hour wait? We'll have to wait and see and get more opinions. But I, I wish there was more, and I feel like that's going to be the general sense of what everybody has to say. Um, you know, they have five years to build it, but you know, it's the same layout over in Shanghai, but yeah, new attraction here at Walt Disney World, specifically in Magic Kingdom. And that is it for your guys' Daily Dose, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now here's the Storybook Circus exit. Some bonus footage. I forgot what this used to be called, because before when Tron was here, they're, they created a, uh, a walkway that was recently kind of new, and they named it after an Imagineer who, when the walkway wasn't there, uh, would just walk through the grass. And then they paved one, but then they had to get rid of it, obviously, because of Tron. So if any of you guys know what that pathway used to be called, comment that down below as well. But it's very nice that you can walk through this way. But the thing is, on opening day, very interesting because I think this area is gonna be blocked off so those who only have a virtual queue or landing name will be able to utilize this area it's cool I can hear the train going by right now to our right it's about time This is where it exits to, and you can see the re-theming or just the theming already welcoming to the circus. That's where the fence used to be. Not no more.